Hello friends, welcome back to Mule S Academy. In this session, we are going to deploy application to any point platform cloud hub. Okay. So one restrictions right now we have with any point code builder is we can deploy only to cloud of 1.0. Okay. So let's start deploying before jumping onto the deployment part. I'll encourage everyone to please go ahead and subscribe the channel, hit the like button, hit the bell icon so that you'll get notification to upcoming videos. And don't forget to explore the content from the channel. Okay. So if you look at my screen, this is the same, uh, you know, setup we had for last session. Okay. So where we have created, uh, uh, we have actually implemented API from specification. We ran it from code builder. We have seen how to run it. Okay. What is the URL and what all we need to pass so that we can successfully run our uh, implementation. Okay. Now to deploy this uh, application to our cloud of 1.0, we need to create a file called, uh, you know, here we need to create a file called deploy.config under resources. Okay. So let's do that. Let's create a new file under this. deploy dot json okay and the content of this file will look like uh, this so we need a runtime under which runtime you on which runtime you want to run your what is the worker size i am selected point 0.1 what is the application name so i have given my application name okay how many workers you want since we are going with trial so it should be one and auto start Okay, so let's copy this. This is the minimum uh, content we should have in our in our uh, uh, deploy.json file. Okay, uh, let's go back and uh, yeah, that's what we want. Okay, let's go back to our. So I have installed this uh, uh, code builder on my you know uh, as a app. Okay, so you can see that it looks little different now okay so once you have deploy.json that's the prerequisite for uh, deploying from code builder to your any point platform cloud hub so now again same command control shift p here we can go ahead and select okay before that let me show you is there anything on my uh, my runtime manager nothing is there right now you can see okay let me refresh okay No applications okay let's go back to our app and now let's say control shift p it will give you the uh, command you just say deploy okay and say it will ask you in which environment you want to so let's select sandbox now it's packaging or application see in the down And deploying application to cloud up you can see that deploy to cloud up successfully let's see let's go to our runtime manager you can see that it's getting deployed now let's wait for the come you know uh, status change to deployed and running before that let me copy this url copy address and go to my postman and instead of this, I'll just paste that URL now. Control V. Let's see. Account type saving. In header, right now, I don't want cookies. I just want client ID, client secret. Let's wait for the deployment to be successful. So meanwhile, I'll recap. What I have done, I have created deploy.json and in this I have passed the deployment configuration. So this will be my runtime, this will be my worker size, application name, this has to be unique, okay, across our regions and then auto start is equal to true, okay. So once it is deployed, we'll run it from our postman and we confirm that things are working fine, okay. Okay. So since this is getting deployed, what we'll do 
uh, we can't do anything we need to wait so i'll take a pause here once it is deployed we'll run and we'll confirm that's deployed successfully you can see the status started now okay let's go to our postman and trigger it you can see that proper output we are getting if i miss any of the required parameter it will yeah right now we are not applied any any policy right so once we apply the policy so you let let me go to the parameterize and say yeah bad request okay so if I go ahead and say, yeah, I'll build, I'm able to see the output properly. And for headers, if I remove, okay, so right now we have not applied any any policies on our API, so these parameters are not considered. Okay, once we apply the policies, it, this client ID and client secret will be uh, required. Yeah, that's all from this session. Uh, hope you liked it. Thank you. Bye-bye.